Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go return that pot now, shall we? Uh, but first I should probably talk to this lady here. You found the bad guy? That's so totally amazing. Uh, you know, judging from the way she's talking, maybe I should be doing a different voice from her, like an, like an obnoxious teenager voice or something like that. <laughs> uh, same dialogue, okay. Uh, here's your pot back. So you found the beef, or uh, wait, I mean the thief. I am joyful. Pot. Ah, sir, you are the hero of my world. You even even brought my pot. You probably should wash this though. <laughs> it is empty, of course, but it is mine, and I love it. Thanks to you, from me. Here is just a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please fake it. Uh, uh, why must I butcher this language so so shameful? Please take it. I mean, a star piece for returning the pot. Oh yeah. Yes, about this thief. I'm actually pleased that he craved my stew enough to steal the entire pot. <laughs> my heart is filled with no anger, but rather the warm broth of satisfaction. You know, that's kind of true that someone, you know, that it would be sort of flattering that someone craved your thing to the point that they wanted to steal it. I mean, sure, stealing is bad, but I mean, you know, if something is that good that they feel need, I mean, that, that they desire it, that they feel a need to steal it, it's kind of a flattering thought overall. But anyway, let's talk to Pennington. Now, aha, I have been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on the last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the one you apprehended is our sticky, yummy malcontent. I have deduced this from the lack of any incriminating clues in his room. Wait, what? In his room? How do you know who the suspect even is? I don't think you do. No one does. <laughs> in any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So is this, it is decided then. I shall take you on as my new assistant. Hmm? To reiterate, my name is Pennington. I am a detective from Poshley Heights. I am known as some, in some circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. <laughs> I am sure you have heard of me, so that is all I will say on the subject. And as for your name, wait, I demand you do not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. Okay. All he has to do is read my butt. That mustache. That nose. Just read my butt. It's still there. If it wasn't there, I couldn't enter the pipe to the spooky place. Ho ho, all too easy. You, sir, are quite obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? Oh, dang it, he flubbed it. <laughs> no need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. Now about this threat. Our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. A sticky, tasty explosion. That family of bob -ombs. they are definitely suspect. Now, Luigi, we will reduce the, this case to rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. Take heed now, Luigi. Our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. A sticky, tasty explosion. That family of bob -ombs. they are definitely suspect, even as we speak. Yes, do you smell their fuses burning in conspiracy? Look on my butt! It says Mario! My cap even has an M on it! How did you miss this? How? Oh, forget it. Let's just go over to the next car and look at this. Look at this. The lighting change. Yeah, that's that's how time passes on the XS Ex Express. As you do certain events and trigger certain things, the time passes, and you got to do it all in order to get through this chapter, because that's how time passes. It's kind of odd how time works around here, but that's how it works. See, we're in this beautiful sunset scene now. Ah, uh, delightful. I was really looking forward to popping that stew on my expense account. <laughs> oh, well, I'll just order the next most expensive thing on the dinner menu. Go for the steak! Steak is good! I love steak! Tenderloin! Mm. Alright, let's go talk to the bob -omb family now. Uh-oh. Uh Looks like they're in the middle of an argument here. Uh, um, I don't know if I should talk to them, because I'll interrupt them and I want to show their dialogue. This is awkward. <laughs> their dialogue is good too. <laughs> oh, it's repeating. Okay, let's start with a uh, little bulb here. Mom and Dad are fighting about what to get me for my birthday. I'm so bored. I wish I brought my GBA. <laughs> More in-game advertising. Let's talk to them now. I think we should get Bob the Advanced Learners Classic Series of Bob Armory. Two words, cheap and boring. 
Think more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car. Or a house. For a kid? <laughs> I think she had the better idea of between you two, but both of them are kind of... Blah. <laughs> well, I mean, his idea is far too much, and hers is boring, is what I'm saying. Bob is too small for such things, Gold Bob. Stop thinking about your own social status. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him, honestly. Pfft, I don't want any of that stuff they're talking about. Hmm? Hey, mister, are you a detective now that you could be a champion? Well, so, think you can detect what I really want for my birthday? Uh... No, I'd rather not. <laughs> oh, come on! Okay, fine, fine, fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm an absolute pro, despite starting being a detective today. <laughs> really? Cool. Okay, if you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. Alright, and he does give you something pretty good in return. But it's clear that we're not going to get any information out of them unless we do some events. So let's just start on uh, talking to him. I can hear everything that family's fighting about loud and clear from out here. One thing I heard was cute. A boy's dreams of being a train engineer someday. What an interesting dream for a rich little kid like that. <laughs> hmm. I think we're on to something here. I think we are. Did you hear anything? Really looking at it. Oh, same dialogue. Never mind. Alright, let's see what Pennington has to say about this case thing that young master bub wants the most well let us deduce shall we why it is rudimentary he wants a game boy advance my dear luigi oh come on were you not even paying attention or asking around around here because that my friend is what young children his age crave above all things you are a terrible detective <laughs> he accuses people that don't deserve it he just keeps taking these bad guesses and now oh, uh, got anything new to say? Yes, about the thief. Oh, nope, nothing new. How about you? Got anything new? Mm, yes, you totally... You so totally bagged that chubby guy in record time. I was way impressed. Is that a better voice for her? For her? I don't know. <laughs> hey, come to think of it. I could use your skills. Could you help me? Really? Star, 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 star. Wow, okay. So, I, I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me. And they're like all full of memories and stuff. I really need them back. Could you maybe look for them or something? Star. Please. Star. Well, okie dokie. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if my voice is even good enough to do a voice like that. I don't know. <laughs> I shouldn't say good enough. I mean, it's not really fitting to do a voice like that. Oh. Just so I would check for the fun of it. See if there's something uh, in my room. Hmm. Nothing in car four. Luck for hee hee sort of kind of pun. Hey you there You yes you Sorry for causing all the commotion, but man that super scrum diddly umptious. <laughs> I can't wait for dinner Yep, we have no regrets no regrets whatsoever Yeah, I think that was the same uh, dialogue too Anyway moving on I clearly have to go to the engineer. I'm just seeing if there is any new dialogue around here. Why, hello there, you fine specimen of a man, you. You're a marvelous dear. You solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes, very well done. You're so ruggedly smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well. Sorry. That's rather disappointing. I was sure you'd help me with this. Oh, okay, fine, fine. Well, hello. Yes, I did. I'll help. Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now listen well, I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. Could you please hasten the search along for me? You boldly brilliant man, you. I think she's falling for me. Alright, oh, we haven't had anything else to say? Help me find my gold ring? Oh, thanks ever so. You're welcome. It's what a plumber does. Plumber slash detective slash everything. What doesn't Mario do? <laughs> what does that little bub kid want as a present? Uh... Well, I'm sure he'd be stoked to have an autograph of mine, right, guy? Oh, man, don't they all? I can't do it, unfortunately. I only sign for chicks. <laughs> hey, Gonzalez. You think that bub kid might want something from a guy he admires, maybe? Whatever he wants, we gotta find it soon. Or else, boom! Yummy and sticky. <laughs> Alright, we know who we need to talk to. The train engineer. Because that is 
what the kid wants to be. So, hey, how's it going? You want my autograph, sir? Oh, it's for little bub? Why? Well, oh, yes, of course. Here you are, sir. Woo! Got an autograph! Oh, yeah. Look at that beautiful handwriting with a star underneath, too. The autograph of the XS en Express Engineer. Gosh, I've never given out an autograph before. That felt fantastic. <laughs> Riding this train during the sunset in the high is the high point of every day for me. So let's hear it for the XS Express. Huzzah! Huzzah! It is pretty beautiful over here. Just look at the sunset through the windows and whatnot there. Alright, so we have something for Bub that I think he will appreciate quite a bit. But as you notice, there was a couple of other things uh, going on this train, like a couple of other quests that we're going to have to do as well. Uh, some of them we actually can't do until we take a nap in our bed, actually, and make time pass. But uh, uh, we can do this one for now, of course. So, alright. We have... Wait, 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 Pennington. Because I got the autograph. Let's see if he'll actually smarten up. Thing that young Master Bub wants the most? Uh, nope. Same dialogue. Ah, oh, poopers. Thought there would be something different there. Alright. Here we are. Room 8. Happy birthday, kid. You should love this very much. So, should you bring me the thing I want most? Autograph of the XS Express Engineer. Hey, yeah, bingo, mister. That's just what I wanted. You're a good detective. Here's something for you, just like I said. A shine sprite! Yeah, he's actually holding a shine sprite. Thanks for the autograph. I'll take good care of it, I promise. Now, what about you two? Did you pay more attention to your kid after seeing this? You must get him something that benefits the station of our family. I have my reputation to think of, Sylvia. Well, I still think we should get him the classic series of Bob Omri. Nope, they didn't listen to him at all. Hey, uh, uh by the way, what's a detective anyway? <laughs> <laughs> and more time has passed. Night time now. Mr. Mario, I'm glad you spoke to me. I just remember it's something suspicious. Ooh! I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to passengers. I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have exact blanket counts. It means someone came on board without a ticket. That stowaway just might be your suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. <laughs> if you could look for the un unticketed passenger and get that blanket, I'd thank you. Uh, call me Blanket P.I. What if I say this, though? Oh, really? That's too bad. I guess I'll just huddle under a candy wrapper. <laughs> Alright, call me Blanket P.I. Honestly? Great, thanks. Well, I'll have to keep watch. I have to keep watch here, but I'll be waiting for the good news. Alright. Uh, Pennington, since I solved that quote-unquote mystery. What's this? There's an unticketed passenger, just as I suspected. What? You didn't say that before! The conductor is one blanket short, eh? And we are hunting a lone intruder. That would definitely rule out the family in Cabin 8. Rudimentary, my boy. And that is the only hint I will give you today, my sleuth apprentice. I don't think you even know much! That's why you're not giving me more quote-unquote hints! You're just making yourself look smarter than you actually are. <laughs> you must strike out on your own with that little nugget of investigative wisdom. Of course, I have other hints to share if I so choose. No, truly. You liar! For example, the unticketed passenger is without a doubt our yummy, sticky suspect. <laughs> we just went through that! Same dialogue, okay. Moving on, then. So, if the family is not it, perhaps the guy in number seven could be it. I'm going to try and get all my paperwork done today so I can enjoy myself tomorrow. So, uh, could you just stay out of my way for a while? Well, okay. Do you have a ticket? I guess he's not gonna... Spill the beans, I suppose. So how are we supposed to figure out who doesn't have a ticket anyway? I mean, they could forge a ticket for all we know. Shop guy, do you have a ticket? Oh, you don't have any dialogue. <laughs> I keep wondering if he's going to have any new dialogue, but I guess not. Do you have a ticket? 
And now, if you please, I must begin to prepare the evening order orders. Uh, 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 no, curse this tongue of mine. I mean the evening orders. <laughs> Candles are lit. This seems like a pretty nice dinner setting. Welcome to the dining car. I mean, uh, welcome to the dining car. You are just the greatest. Thank you so much for agreeing to find my shell earrings. Sorry. Hmm. Well, perhaps we'll be able to figure this out in the next part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then. Hopefully, maybe, could be, possibly. I'll only know for sure if you join me in the next part. Circles, once again, to finish off a part.